Politics are unavoidable in our 2021 society. Unavoidable, like getting cancelled for saying the WNBA sucks and that you'd wa rather watch paint dry and stick your finger in a mouse trap repeatedly over and over than watch the WNBA. You'd be telling the truth, but you'd get cancelled on Twitter. Everywhere you look, there's politics. Politics on social medias, politics in most of the movies and TV shows, or at least some of them. And obviously, politics when you go over to your racist grandparents' house. They Let's just say they didn't like Obama. But what really set me on this warpath against politics in general is that no matter what I'm doing, I'm scrolling through my phone through Reddit or Rule 34, it doesn't matter. No matter what it is, every post, if not every other post, is about politics. And if it's not about politics, sometimes they'll start arguing about politics in the comments for no apparent reason. And that makes my family heirloom revolver look mighty appetizing sometimes. I'm pretty sure the circumference of my mouth and that barrel would look very good together. So there's really no meat to go with the potatoes of this video, it's just going to be the ramblings of a lunatic of why I hate politics for however long this video turns out to be, or however long you can endure hearing my incestual native tongue. I'm not going to show any examples for obvious reasons, because, you know, if I showed something that was towards the Republican side or towards the Democratic side, I'd be hung up by my ball sack and they'd be crucified right then and there. I'd be made an example of while trying to make an example, creating this inception top deal while I'm still hanging for my nuts. And so I'm just not trying to, I'm not trying to do that. Politics have evolved from, you know, you're a Republican, this guy's a Democrat, and you don't hate each other, but you don't agree with each other. You can agree to disagree, and you can still get along, shake hands at the end of the day, give each other a handy under the table, maybe, you know, what, whatever happens, happens. But now, if you're a Republican and someone else is a Democrat, it's like full-on war crimes to be talking to each other. If you say something they don't agree with, you better, you better believe Twitter's getting a full 120 character max out limit, whatever the limit is on Twitter at this point you're they're maxing out that character limit writing you a very important message that you will see and they'll attach a gift to it too i just want to know why people praise and worship the taints of politicians or a political viewpoint they idolize that and pray to it every night and they have a statue of it in their room that they look at every night before they go to sleep and they kiss it good night and everything like what good is that doing for you besides creating a social divide like it's just creating hatred and division between people you don't even know or you could be friends with in the future all because of a political viewpoint i just don't get it why hate bill because of his locking the donkeys more than the the elephants should be hating bill because of that pedophilic history on his criminal record so i just wanted to come on here and smear my load all over politics and then throw it away throw it under the bed like a used cum rag but i don't i don't know what else to say i can't really say much else without being repetitive and you know saying politics bad over and over and over again so I'm just going to wrap it up here, except when I'm with your mom, Badoom Ching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.